So my life is changing. In the past two weeks, so much has changed and trying to keep myself together has been hard. I just came out of a very loving relationship and that's been hard for me and I am moving out. But the main focus here is that I am moving out. I'm finally leaving this fucking weeb trash basement and I'm gonna have a house that has a garage. So I've been working on moving a lot of my stuff to the new house and I still have a lot to move still, but it's getting close. Uh, my room is not in any way, shape, or form put together. I've only been in the house for I think three or four days and I just got internet set up in it yesterday. So the big thing that I'm excited about with the new house is where I live out in the woods, we cannot get good internet. I did a speed test last night and got one megabit per second download download and at the new house I ran a speed test on my phone through the Wi-Fi and got 130 megabits per second that is literally the craziest thing I've ever seen in my life I've never had good internet before every time I have to upload a video it's seriously like okay it's like 11 p.m. I start the upload I go to bed I wake up I go to work I come home and it's almost finished <laughs> So hopefully now, with having faster upload and download speeds, I should be able to upload videos a lot faster. So I'm going to start packing up some more stuff, and I'm going to head to the new house. So I will see you there. So we've made it to the new house, and it is a fucking mess. <laughs> this is my room. I haven't set my bed up yet. Desk setup's not done. Closet's full of shit. And I'm not even done bringing stuff in yet. I literally have my whole computer set up in the Miata right now that I have to unpack. And here's my fastest fuck boy internet. And here we have the garage. It's a one car garage. Sorry it's dark. I'm gonna have to put lights in here. But for being a one car, it's actually pretty big. It's like not too skinny. It's actually really fucking long too. Weeb trash will be moved to this garage and we'll live in this garage. I'm gonna go back in and start getting my bed set up and my desk set up. Uh, it's not gonna be finished by tonight because I'm going to be doing a whole new desk setup, but uh, it'll be functional by the end of the night. So I'll keep you guys updated. So this is what I've come to so far. The computer setup is kind of finished. This isn't gonna be the finished project for sure. But it's functional at the moment. I'm not worrying about wire management at all right now. This is all going to be cleaned up. It's going to look super sweet. I don't know what to do with my TV just yet. The bed's in here with my old bed stuff. I'm going to be switching to all matching, nice stuff. But hopefully by the end of uh, this build, my room will look pretty sweet. And we have a lot of stuff that we still have to get out of the garage. And once the garage is cleaned out, then I can bring, you know, weeb trash over and I can bring in all my tools. I already have a toolbox lined up that has like a little workbench on the top that I can bring over here. But I'm pretty much settled for the night. So until something changes, I will let you know. Next day. So I just got back from Walmart. I picked up some stuff to get the room together a little bit better. First thing, bed sheet so I can get rid of this brown ugly shit. That is going to be for the modem and router. That's for the modem and router. And I got these hooks. These things are your best friend when you're dealing with ugly wire management. I'm gonna be using as much of these as possible to get all the shit cleaned up for the most part and just clean it up for the time being until I get a new desk. So this surge protector, it has a like overly long cord to it. So what the idea is, Modem, router, ugly as shit. They're, you can never make them look good, so I'm just gonna completely hide them. So what I'm doing, hiding them up here in my closet. So that means that I have to run a surge protector up and around here, and then I'm gonna mount it on this back wall, run the extension cables up to the router and modem, and then I have to run a ethernet cable all the way across, all the way down, and across to my computer. So, got a kind of sketchy looking ethernet cable. It's flat cable, and I've never been a fan of that. But I got that and this. So I'm going to start at getting this shit tucked and see if I can make it look nice. Two to the one, to the one, to the three. I like good pussy and I like good trees. Smoke so much weed you wouldn't believe. And I get more ass than a toilet seat. Three to the one, to the one, to the three. I met a bad bitch last night in the D. Let me tell you how I'm gonna leave with me. Conversation and hands. So before the pretty up process, this is what it looks like. The only thing you'll be able to see is the ethernet cable 
and the input cable, I think that's what that's called, and this extension cord. This, I can't really tuck to make too nice. I mean, it's definitely gonna be tucked back around, but that's the greatest I can get. It was a good idea switching to one that has an outlet like this, so it's just like smooth with the wall and doesn't stick out. And with the ethernet cable and the input, whatever it is cable, not input, I can't think of what that's called, data cable? Those I can't really do too much with either, but I am going to try to keep them tucked along the bottom side where my finger is. But before prettying things up, this is what it looks like. It's a fucking mess. I need to find a way to mount that surge protector, which I normally they have a little hole in the back that you can like, like put on a nail so you can hang it, but this one doesn't, so I have to find another way to mount that to the wall. And then I have to tuck this cable up and over just like my ethernet cable, and then tuck that ethernet cable, make it look all nice. But I'm not gonna film me cleaning all this up because it's just a too tight of an area, it's just gonna suck, so I will see you guys when I'm done. There's that extension cable going into the closet. And then you can see my ethernet cable and my input cable, whatever the fuck that cable, fuck it, I don't know, the cable. Those are ran into the closet. Not too clean, but it'll work. And then what I'm not proud about, this comes up, anchored right there, and gross. <laughs> this definitely looks like shit, but um, it will have to do for now, and I can clean it up a little bit better later. I don't know what my next project is. Probably going to be doing some wiring on the desk setup, trying to make the cable management look mint. So now the closet is finished. I hid my router and modem, and I finally did my wire management. It's not completely done because I'm starting to have really bad chest pains when I bend down, but uh, here's an idea. It kind of looks like shit from here, but when I pull the desk out, it actually is pretty tidy, but I ran out of uh, bread ties, which, pro tip, bread ties are a good way to tie up cables without like needing to use zip ties and make it a little more permanent. This is just something you can quickly do and it works. So the desk setup is pretty much finished. I still need to find out what I'm gonna do with my TV and my bed is made, but I did get my new sheets on. That's what they look like. But yep, I have a whole new bed set that I'm gonna be throwing on here and it is looking pretty good. But I think that's going to call for me for the night. My chest fucking hurts. I'm going to head to Tyler's house and spend the night with him so then I can go look at a new car tomorrow. So if that works out, I'll let you know. If not, fuck, I'll see you at some point.